I put on for this yeah. And I understand that this shit wasn't easy But nigga, we did it Yeah, yeah And all them hoes and all them niggas That wasn't fucking with us Now we them niggas Now we rich, now We got money I don't give a shit, no And we did it Young nigga come up from nothing Now he gettin' to them riches And it's the life of a young rich nigga Yo, 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 yo. What up, Squeeze? Yo, yo, yo. We we live. We live, sir. What's going on? Man, I can't call it how you feeling. How was your day today? Good and your oh man, I can't complain. Can't complain. Cruise, cruising through. Cruising through. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cruising through through, man. The day wasn't too bad. Not at all. I'm on my feet. Another day to go at them. That's all we can ask for. Jim. Destiny birthday came out, yo. Damn. 431. I was just... Damn, yo. Yeah, Libya Pope was at the gym. I, I was there. Yeah, Libya Pope. Yeah, I was like, damn, man. Let me get the sponsors out of it. Hey, baby, in the chat. Y'all, um, y'all here with us in the chat. That means that God bless you to see another day. Oh, babe, I had a blessed day. And um, let's keep shooting for the stars while we breathing, man. That's all we could do. It's Monday, y'all. Start of the week. All right, y'all. Let's get this thing rocking. I just thank God that I made it through the day. And um, I'm humble, man. Just keep moving forward. All right, let me get the sponsors out of the way. Five-time world champ, four different weight classes, first ballot Hall of Famer, Baltimore's own GTD promotions, redesigning minds one mind at a time. We know a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Shout out to www.kanichiband.com. Use code TRP. You'll get 15% off. Also, shout out to www.narslipgallery.com. Org, um, use cool R I Z E 10, you'll get 10% off. Shout out to www.meakillerb.com. Go over to her website, support her page. Shout out, uh, rest in peace to John Boy. Rest in peace to John Boy. And um, shout out to EOE, education over everything. Shout out the Bad Girls Promotions. Shout out the um, Four Corners Boxing. Go over there. Featuring Maurice and Jenny Jones. Go over there to 15 rounds of boxing. And um, support them every Wednesday. They be bringing that fire. Um, shout out the um, Rise Inc. Thanks for the platform. Don't forget to go down to Coach Calvin and Coach Kenny Way. Get your um, 1901 Pennsylvania Avenue. Get your Shari's Essentials. 12 rolls, $7 in the building. Um, last uh, Shout out to Under Armour. Thanks for all that you do. Last but not least, official gear boxing. All the uh, fighters wearing it, and we in the building too. Y'all can say it with me in the chat. Uh, one, two, three. Box raw. Uh, woo, what's going on, good people? Miss Tanya Van Joss Williams, how you feeling? Smoothie King. Right back at you with another one. Miss Tanya Vera George Williams Jr., thanks for the color in the chat, Miss Tanya. Pray that you feel better, that you're feeling better. Uh, everybody keep Miss Tanya in your prayers. Thanks for the love on the super sticker. Miss Serena in the building. Ty Wai, you go with Boo What's up, chat? 
Musa, Musa, my God. Ace, whatchamacallit, Daryl Hopkins, Tim Layton, Allen Johnson, stretched out boxing, Scout Scrutter Toy, Hunter on a Hunt, Allen Johnson, Lisa Smith, Cosmic Lando, Fagusta Al Neal, Box Latino TV, Daryl Hopkins, Nolan Martin, Tim Layton, Lonnie Lee, 323 three, Quick, the Boxing Menu Podcast Plus, Tim Layton, Marquee, Melanie Queen 27, Ruthless Squad Gaming, Gianni Legion. My God, Just Do Boxing, the voice, Mr. Two O'Clock Shorty himself. You ain't subscribed to Just Do Boxing, man. Run over there, man. He part of that JBT network. All funny video, North and Green Mount is in the building. All things. GP, what's going on, my guy? I think I think I got to set something up for Thursday, GP. We might, we might come in there Saturday. I don't know. Got to set one up. Boss Doug, what's going on? Traverse Bowles, what's happening, champ? Showtime the guy passed. What's happening? Stretched out boxing. Night Rider 16. Boss Doug. Boxing Dad. Did I get everybody? Warren Holly. Jay Cropper. Hoy Fink 757. Brassley McClendon. Remo over there. Let's talk fashion, man. Got a dope episode coming up for y'all this Wednesday at 10 a.m. So if y'all ain't subscribed to Remo, he part of that JBT network too. So Make sure y'all run his numbers up, man. We trying to get him to 5,000 subscribers, man. We need y'all help. TNN, what's going on? Welcome to the Rise Podcast. Marcel Triggs, Polo Day, True Culture. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Hope everybody had a great day today. I know I did. I know I did. Did something, did something, did something different. Shout out. If y'all ain't following the JBT Network, make sure y'all go over there. Follow them Instagram, YouTube, all social media sites. But shout out to my guy Jay Hardcore, man. <laughs> Sometimes people come in your life, you know what I mean, for a reason. And they serve a purpose, man. He just like he like a big brother, you know what I mean. We, he be chopping it up on. He be on me heavy about this. Um, no Diddy. He be on me on me heavy about no Diddy about this podcast stuff and really pushing me and motivating me in the day. We filmed two episodes. I wanted to start this series called "It's Bigger Than Boxing," and you know what I mean. He came down. He came down. Um, he came down to gym today, and we shot two episodes. You know what I mean. And shout out to Rodrigo Jennings, man, for wanting to for wanting to tell his story to, to try to help the kids and change their life, change their life around, and learn from his mistakes. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna film probably two more episodes this week, and once we get five, we probably. We probably drop it. So, you know what I mean? Appreciate everybody, man, for your support, man. Just stay tuned, man. You see, I've been giving y'all videos, shorts, chopping the interviews up. You know what I mean? And and, and I just need y'all to run the numbers up, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe on the videos, the shorts. You know what I mean? Leave an input. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. We trying to get these numbers moving. And we trying to. We trying. We trying to grow, man. We got to. You know what I mean? We got. We got to get up. We got to get up there. Which one, call it? What's going on? What's going on, Coach? How you feeling today? Oh, man. Hanging in there. Uh-uh. Hanging in there. <laughs> man, the day, the day was a good day, man. The day was a good day. You know what I mean? So, Hanging in there, champ. Just, just, the day was a good day, man. It was. It really was, man. So, it's fight week. It's fight week, Squee. Uh, we got Tim Zoo. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Um, Pandora. Hold on. PBC Amazon Prime first fight card. I got you. Um, we got Sardi. I heard of um, it, baby. We got Sardi March the 30th, 2024. This um coach Charles gave me the uh the paperwork. That's my stats, man. We got Sardi live March the 30th, 2024. Boxing continues. Um, TGD, TGB promotions. Uh, the Nevada Athletic Commission is bringing to you um, at the T Mobile Arena. We already been there and did work. Mm-hmm. Huh. I know they want to see us again. You know what I mean? Me and me and me and me and uh senior had to walk through the crowd without shirts on. They was hating. 
Um, we got 24 and 0 and uh Tim Zhu versus Se Sebastian Fundor. He 21 and 1. And that's uh for the WBC World Super Welter Vacant and, and, and uh championship. And we got Rolando Romero, uh former opponent of him. And you know how him roll. Everybody he touches turns to gold. Um 15-1 and 0 oh, versus my man. I'm going with this. <laughs> I know who I'm going with. Versus uh um 25-2 and 1. Who been in the ring with him? And the only why he survived is because of technicality. Isaac Pitbull Cruz for the WBA World Super Lightweight title. That's going to be a bomb burner. Oh, we got a veteran on the card. Um, er Irvis Landy Laura. I like Laura too. Um, a former two time, three time champion against uh 29 3 and 3 versus Michael Zarafa 31 4 and 0 for the WBA World Middleweight Championship. Damn, Law is still going strong. And we got this card is stacked. Brian Mendoza 22 3 and 0 versus Serhi Bohat Chuck for the WBC interim world super welterweight championship. And then we coming down to the um Julio Cesar Martinez 23 and 0 versus Angelino Cadova. Angelino Cadova tough 18 and 1. For the W, oh, we getting light in the ass right here for the WBC World Flyweight uh, Championship. So that's I named the uh, first five, first five, six bouts. We got a lot more on there, but just to get y'all the main uh, fights on the card, there's um, four more fights on that card. Uh, middleweight, I ain't gonna give all the names. We got a middleweight bout. Featherweight, super feather, two super featherweight bouts for elimination. So, uh, TGB Promotions doing their thing at the T Mobile Arena, March, Saturday, March the 30th, in Las Vegas, y'all. We didn't already, uh, um, broke that in. And we got one debut coming up. Uh, Adrian Nevez versus Steven Walker 01 and 0 for the um super lightweight division. That's just to get y'all in. We got Friday 29th. Uh, Oscar Valdez make his awaited return to the ring on the Bob Erm type uh top rank. Uh, card so it's going down this weekend. Boxing looking very prominent. All ass, yeah. That, that's a nice card, not too many notable names, but um, nice, nice little card. And Oscar Valdez is headlining that particular event. And where is that gonna be? The Desert Diamond Arena, Glendale, Arizona. Okay, promoter Bob Ehrman, man, he think he's slick. Arizona Boxing and MMA Commission. And Bob Ehrman worrying about his damn self. <laughs> who, who you got? Who your picks for Fondora and Zoo and Roly and uh, Pitbull? I got, um, I'm, I'm gonna go, hey, I'm gonna ride with, uh, I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride and dive with this one. With um, Fondor got show me something. 
He got to get back in the mix. So who you picking? Fondor got to show me something. He so got to get you, back into so the mix. You, you, no, 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 no. We keep trying to find a way in and out and around. The people want to know. You picking – you. I, I'm, I'm going to say it again for you, champ. I don't know what else to say, babe. I, I got Fondor and Roly. That's who I got. I'm the real deal, Israel. Where you been at? I got fun door and rolling. That's what I'm going with. I got fun door. Gotta show me something in Pitbull Cruise for the for the knockout. He will be the new world champion. That belt coming up off a of road. You say Pitbull? That belt coming up off. I definitely like Fondora. Afternoon Sports Slate. What's going on, Queen? I definitely like I like I definitely like Fondora. After listening to what Leonard Ellaby said. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go with Roly. I'm gonna go with Roly. I'm gonna go with And I like and I like Eris Landy Lara too. I like Ernest Landy Law too. Higuray, Higuray, that's gonna be a tough fight. That's gonna be a tough outing for him because he fight with Father Time. But um, one thing I can say about Ernest Landy uh, Law, um, go. one thing I can say about him, hell of a fighter, hell of a, hell, and my Floyd Mayweather voice, hell of a competitor. Um, and he going against. Michael Zarafa, 31 4 and 0. Ooh, I'm gonna play that tomorrow. Got that 314 in it. I'm definitely gonna pop that in the four digit tomorrow. Smoothie King, right back at you. What are not on my afternoon sports slay the queen? What up, though? Rise family. I've been popping in and out. The content been on fire. I love the last few guests. And interviews. Thanks, afternoon sports slay. We gotta get you on here. We gotta get you on here, afternoon, because I know you've been busy. It's March Madness. I know you've been busy. The women been balling. William Old School, what's going on, champ? Definitely gotta get you back on here. In the building, man. If you ain't subscribed to the JBT network, you're doing yourself a great disservice, man. You're doing yourself a great disservice, man. This group, this group, this group, we coming and we coming hard, and I don't think we're gonna be able to be stopped. You know what I mean? Almost kind of like get down or lay down, man. Speedy, that's an edible in the building, man. That's an edible is in the building. Control the group, what's going on? You put this up for you, squeeze. Talk to me, Smoothie King. Right back at you. Bruce, with another, with another one, Control Law Goo. Squeeze it to you. Question if front door win, do we see that Crawford match up with with front door? Nah. Nah, he ain't, he ain't ready for no bud. Bud's supposed to get the winner out of Zoo Fundora. That's just talk. Bud and kill them boys. You sure? Bud by murder, man. Stop. You sure? <laughs> have, have I lied to y'all yet? You sure? <laughs> Rick Timms, what it do? What's happening? Have I lied to y'all yet? All right, so let me ask you this, Squeeze. So this is this is PBC and Amazon official first fight card. What are your expectations? Um, if everything go right behind the scenes in my Leonard Ellaby voice, if ever man kicking the cock got ice in that goddamn things, um, and my Leonard Ellaby voice, um, there will be kinks, but they will straighten them out come fight night. I think this card gonna be hard. For all the fighters that hit the canvas, 
I hope they praying to God. Come Saturday night, we going to get a delight. Because it's going to be one hell of a fight. Yes, boxing is back. And it's back live and kicking. Everybody was talking about, man, boxing, worrying about the networks. Here we go. We got the proof. We got the proof. Coach Charles brought the stats to me. That's my stats, guy. Shout out to Coach Charles. The day y'all made the... Yo made the um uh spiders come out the bathroom and work out today. Damn. Yeah, Coach Charles on play. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Michael D. Stories 87. Thanks for the color in the chat. Y'all see the news? I guess Diddy did it. Hey. That's out my lane. That's out my lane. That's out my yeah. level of expertise. You know what I mean? Yeah. Prayers, prayers for him and all parties involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's hey. Inshallah. <laughs> that's outside. That's outside my. You know what I mean? That's outside of boxing. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loving the Maha. Lord Tank Tank Peoples. Hey, Tim, I, I wait for y'all to do it, but y'all was playing. Yo, listen. Listen, we did two episodes today. What's going on, coach? Yeah, man. It took me 20 minutes to get on with my laptop, mm -hmm. yo. Dang. Shout out, shout out to the JBT network. Shout out to J Hardcore, man. We you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all, since we started this podcast and since I've been on here, you always hear the term, it's bigger than boxing. Mm -hmm. And the day, you know what I mean? We did two episodes for for this series that, you know what I mean, me and Jay Hardcore rolling out. It's bigger than boxing with people telling their story and basically showing you like how boxing saved their life or helped turn their life around. So make sure y'all on the lookout for us bigger than boxing, man. Okay. Okay, he he. It's just Turn like up, he, baby, he turning up. He he using the rise platform to do other things. Okay, I hear you, son. Calvin teach you well. He taught you well, son. No, where, that, where, where that saying came from? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Came from? Coach Calvin, yeah. my man, take the pebble off of the Daniel son. Off this, mm -hmm. the, 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 but, but, Mr. Miyagi. See, see, when you hear the intro, of course, Calvin. First might thing bring said, you to tears. First, first thing they said in the intro, you always hear Coach Calvin say it's bigger than boxing. Because it is. The people don't understand. People don't understand that it changed my life. I ain't gonna lie. Bigger than boxing. It's bigger than boxing. It changed my life, and you see it. Through all the obstacles that all the young men, promoters, um, people behind the cameras, managers, it's bigger than that, man. Because guess what? At the end of the day, man, we're trying to save lives. Boxing saved your life. That's what I just said. Without Boxing saved your life. Without a question. That's why I laugh sometimes when they say, Calvin be saving the kids. They be saving me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They be saving me because I could be doing a whole bunch of nonsense, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can I tell a kid to do the right things and I ain't doing the right things? Yeah. Hey, Coach, you was giving me a good sound bite, but somebody wanted to keep talking. So, you know what I mean? We're going to have to redo that one over later on. You know what I mean? You was you was, you was dead right what I needed. I ain't even had to tell you. You ain't even know what you was doing. I can't get squeezed in the back. Showtime, Showtime used to always tell me. He said, he said, um, he used to say, this, say man, you're a walking sound bite. Hmm. I ain't get it until I just went back from that show we just did. With My Lennon. bam champ, you on, you and Calvin can chop it up. I can off slide again. off. Cut him off again. He talk. I can I can slide off, champ. Y'all can Smoothie King, up. right back at you. Yeah, let me let me get on up out here. Let y'all rap. Man, Smoothie like King, that, right back at you. I can use me some early sleep. <laughs> Musa Musa, thanks for the color in the chat. The Rise Podcast is on the horizon. As the Smoothie King always say, peace.
Hicks and Harry. <laughs> My guy, Joshua Furlong, back in the building, man. Glad your boyfriend let you back out, man. I hope you're feeling better. You man, know, man, glad baby. to see you. What kind of game uh, is still playing, yo? No, he so he had moved to Vegas and, and his boyfriend made him move back to Jersey. And he got sick, you know what I mean, when he came back and it was like him and his boyfriend was going through something. And I'm just happy to see him back in the building. Okay. All Being right. in box news, what's going on, champ? You remember J Joshua Furlong used to be the funny one that you, you know. Yeah, I mean? I know. It's always he used to always be trying to hit hit somebody. <laughs> yeah, Foxes Jaguar. You know, this is no judgment zone community. That's my guy, though. He's a good, he's a good guy. Bruce Gas, what's going on? Smoothie King. Right, I'm right back at you with another one. Deaths and edible. Thanks for the color in the chat. It's bigger than boxing. Them youngest keep you young. Yeah. Look at I was talking to 40 of them today, right? And uh, we working on a lot of big projects, right? And I said, man, I'm going to do them. And uh, 40 said, yo, I was watching you in the ring with Tank, man. He said, they said, yo, how old you is? I said, 59. He said, you're lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're lying. I said, nah, man. I said, I'm telling you the truth, man. That's my age. That's my game, you know? I was doing something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing something, right? Uh, you should see me now. You should see me now, boy. That's oh, all boy. Coach Roy did keep flexing. <laughs> Yo. Yo. My little young and even looked at me. He looked at me and said, damn, old man, you looking good. Uh, the Coach Ka Coach Calvin there doing the interview, he said, he said, he said, yeah, you know what I mean? If I take my jacket off, man, I'm telling you, I look like an action figure up out there. <laughs> Yo, I was getting ready for Bullet, right? <laughs> uh, I took off my shirt. Bro, I said, "Yo, that nigga got ass, yo." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know what I mean. But man, at the end of the day, man, the day was a great day today. The, 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 what, 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 give us a little spin of it. Take us, walk us through your day today, Coach. Oh, my day was marvelous. I, I had to go get an oil change because I missed the Saturday. The Saturday was like a, a laid back day. Mm -hmm. Did my oil change. Came back in here and study, wash my clothes. Oh man, you should seen this meal I put together today, yo. Man, hold on, where's my phone? Man? I got yo, this. Yo, yo, I just want, I just want to let you know before I ain't cutting you off, but you know we still waiting on them cinnamon buns, coach. Like you're not getting, you're not getting out the hook without them cinnamon buns, coach. Listen, I got you. I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna hook you up, Calvin. Come on with the meal, man. For you got cut off. I apologize to you. <laughs> Go ahead, Calvin. Before you got cut off, no, I know you could apologize. I know you could apologize and cut a person off where they balance at. Yeah. But go on with your story, Calvin. I'm just saying the shit that's going on here. But go ahead. So I did, sports. I did, what's going on? I did them two things today. Then I went to the gym. I went to the gym. We sitting around like, oh God, one of them days today. He come bopping in. Everything was go. He said, ain't no plan. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> that it was a good day today. Then I came back, got my little workout in. And guess what? I'm sitting at now. I fixed me a meal, man. That meal was jumping. And I and I made it right in my room. What, what, what yeah. you had in them pots, coach? Man, I had jasmine rice okay. in the bag. You know what I'm saying? I took Russ to get something to eat. So I got me that. What's that? Uh, what's their name? Compound with the bear. What's that? What's that? Who's them people? Panda. Panda. I was Panda. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> I took the jasmine rice, sprinkled some honey on that joint. You okay. know what I'm saying? Then I came back with my my sauce, that 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 honey mustard sauce inside the jasmine rice. Spent mm. it. <laughs> Wait, people check me out. Then I took and took the bowl, took the rice, flipped it, put it on top of the plate, bam, so it can have that little shape form. Then I took the pandem, pandem shrimp <laughs> with the uh, onions, green pepper, red peppers, yellow mm. peppers. You get know what I'm saying? And the Mexican pepper. You get know what I'm saying? And then put it on top of the rice. I'm gonna send y'all the video. Like, boy, that would look real good if you had some bread. Guess what I whipped out on y'all? Some Hawaiian rolls. I already said, 
and some water. <laughs> Damn, man, I ate like a champ. Then to cap it off with dessert, I'm trying to let my stomach dessert. Up okay, okay. <laughs> well, you just fucked up with him. His I face, did. Did. yo, Cam, yo, did like this. What you said, yo, that shit should go viral. Yo, I'm gonna I'm get that clip. You just said dessert. Your eyes did like this. You pulled the banana out. Yo, like <laughs> that motherfucker can't stand bananas. <laughs> yo, you fucked that dessert up. Yo, you talking about dessert? The whole meal went left once he lifted lift up the banana. Yo, man. You know, yo, man. yo was licking his chops like this. Hey. Can't hey. pull the banana hey. out. Yo, like God. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. I've been chasing these chocolate chip cookies all week that they make from scratch. Mm. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Never catch them. So I just happened to be walking past the elevator, and I looked over. In the kitchen, I said the cookies are out. <laughs> Guess what? They got me like four of them. Okay, I'm on a stash for okay. later on. <laughs> late night shot, huh, coach? Ain't, ain't no like that late night shot. Man, homemade that when you pick them up, they bend. <laughs> oh, damn. So I had a great day today. Yeah. Damn. Hey, Coach, I'm going to tell you, before, before I can say something, squeeze the words out of my mouth. I was with you till you got to that banana, Coach. <laughs> wow, you don't like bananas, yo? I can't stand. I hate you bananas. You can't stand. Hey, yo, the fish animal in the jungle eats bananas. You can miss me with all that shit, Coach. I cannot stand, but I hate the nope. smell of them. I cannot stand bananas with a passion. We know how to we know how to whoop him, yo. Yeah, let's just quit the night. Listen, listen, me like, 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 say, like, Junior get mad at me. Mm -hmm. He'll try to eat a banana around me. I don't even like him eating them around me. Either, like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that'd that be he's his get back. Smart, you know what I mean? Like, man, listen, listen. He's not, right, no, listen, no, you ain't beat him. He's gonna whip the banana out. Yo, listen, <laughs> listen. Back. yo, I, mm -mm, I don't play with no, I, don't, I can't stand the banana back, squeeze, get back. <laughs> I can't stand bananas, man. I hate oh, I like to see that clip. Man, I'm gonna whoop your butt. He whipped the banana. Get back. Get yeah. Out. Put your hands up. He's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what's happening in the gym today, squeeze? Um uh coach, coach Mark Keith worked them out and speedy. Um worked them out routine. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, had them do that callous studies. I don't think they sparred, um, to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, when I was in there, they had them doing their stomach push ups, shadow boxing, just drilling them. Uh, today, Monday, they kind of drugging their lure late today because, um, this the week school out, so oh, nice. yeah, 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 a lot of them. Yeah, ain't show up, but then yeah, they, they start yeah. they start yeah, trinkling trink tr trinkling in. All right. We got six more days left, y'all. Yeah. Six more days when we get to some Brian. They smiling in everybody's house. Yeah. Who you, who you who you who you got this weekend, coach? Man, I told you, man. I'm looking at fan uh I'm gonna call him fan door. Fan door. <laughs> Andoya. I'm looking at him right there. You know what I'm saying? Because says something, man, that made a lot of sense. How can you get ready for that? Mm -hmm. That made a lot of sense there. Right back at you, smooth. With another one, JBT Network. Uh, make sure y'all go over to JBT Network. Because if you don't, you doing yourself a disservice. Mm. Um, the recall, oh, damn, me, me, I ain't even read the chat. The Ricardo Jennings story bigger than boxing. Ooh. Yeah, so that's what on my feet. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I'm looking forward to it. Listen, man, listen, like, you know what I mean? Like, man, we had a conversation Friday. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? He just was telling me, like, how he, what, what, what happened for him to get there. Once mm -hmm. he started telling the story of some of the things that went on, I'm like, how, man, listen, he got a story to tell for real, man. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you, you, you'd be like, man, hell no. I, like, you wouldn't believe it because some of the shit he talking about. Well, yeah, no, showing up. Shout out, shout out to Jay Hardcore, man. That Ricardo Jennings story is bigger than Jay Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Jay Hardcore, man. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, man. So I'm just looking forward, boy. It's coming together, man. See how I cook that meal? Mm-hmm. That's how it's coming together, man. It's coming together. And it was delicious, too. Oh, funny video said, Coach, you heard about that new uh, Ford Mustang, the GTD? What Ford Mustang? The GTD version. Oh, man, that's old. That's old. I've been, I've been post that one. Okay, okay. okay. They've they, they been out for like six months now. Okay. I've been seeing that when it first came off, when it first came off the um, showroom. I want one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep young and out of that one. <laughs> I seen them hit. I seen them hit the gas before. Good gosh Almighty! I want one of them. I don't, want to, I don't even want them to see it. And that's coming from you, like father, like son, boy. Both of y- y'all pull it off the same way. Woo! I got him today. He was checking me out. <laughs> Whoa! He looked at me like. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never seen nobody get to eighty miles an hour as soon as they get to the next corner. Man, that joke scares me. But with open road. Squeeze, what's on your mind, yo? What you up to, Squeeze? Nothing, champ. When the CEO say shut up, that's what you do, baby. Yo, I told you to be you, man. Well, look, when I'm I'm under distress here, when the when the boss say shut your face, that's what you do. I ain't trying to come up missing. Can I read this, boss? <laughs> Feel free. All right, thank you, boss. Yes, sir, boss. Uh. Uh, Smoothie King of Barca, thank you for letting me read it. <laughs> JDT Ski Network Ski, he didn't let me out of the house. Boss, yes, boss, want some more water, boss? I'm a just the man behind the camera. It's seen you, baby. Say, damn, he taking over everybody. Bigger than bo- b- 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 boxing, y'all. <laughs> I beat a beat a beat a, but that's all, folks. Yeah, remember that one, coach? I I beat, beat. That way, 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 way yeah, back. That's old school. Boss. Yeah, I'm gonna show my teeth, boss. You know, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Like y'all, y'all gonna y'all gonna like that. You know what I mean? Come on with it. Come on. Who the star of the show? It ain't me. See. It ain't me. Oh, it's 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 right now it's Ricardo Jennings because he's telling his story. Man, it's Ricardo Jennings, okay, Coach Cab. Y'all go over there and check that out, man. I'm gonna yeah, go over there and check that out. I ain't dropped yet. I ain't dropped yet. I ain't dropped yet. I got go only, over there and check that out. Two episodes a day. I'm a, um I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna edit it up and um we're gonna film two more episodes. I think Wednesday. Damn, once, they once gonna get, film. Once we Do you get, know what those we, words mean. We're gonna drop it so they had something to watch. Lee, you know what I mean? Drop it. Yo, Calvin, this shit about to go down F- with, with a motherfucker be filming and dropping. Whoa, cow. I can't wait. I'm gonna get, do I gotta get popcorn? Let me know something. Right, listen. Send me a kite, Cal, mama. We on the Calvin, send me a kite. <laughs> it's looking funny, man. <laughs> Thomas Hill in the building. What's going on? Chat the boxing source. What's happening? Yeah, hey, coach. Oh, so let me ask you this, coach. Let me ask you this, coach. We got we got the first official. Shoot him at me, man. Shoot him at me. We got the first official PBC and Amazon Prime card. We did. What, what are your expectations of this weekend? Do you have any expectations for this weekend? No, I'm just looking forward to the rollout. I told you, let it open up my eyes on a lot of things. So I see how they're doing it. They're giving us piece by piece by piece. Man, um, him. I don't need, I can't say that. I'm gonna be quiet. Him, man, God day, man. He's excited. He's excited, man. You know, and I can see it, yo. It remind me when he first started getting his uniform made custom, right? And he couldn't wait till them uniforms got got to him, man. He dropped everything like he was getting something for Christmas. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
man, when he look at his uniform, you can see it in his face. You get what I'm saying? And I, I'm looking at him like, this boy, man, he can't wait. He's excited. And um, uh, 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 what's that kid name? Um, dang, I can't even think of his name. Martin. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's talking mad trash. You get what I'm saying? He's talking mad trash. <laughs> Let me let me, I, ask, let me ask you this question, Coach. Uh huh. What's your favorite? What's your favorite tank uniform? Your favorite one? My favorite tank uniform. Oh, y'all ain't seen my Shoe City commercial when he had the all pink on leather joint. What, the, what you call his on? That, that's, your, that that's your favorite one. Yeah, because it had tank going across the chest and it was all pink. He had the pink shoes. I was repping that day. We did our first bus trip with tank. Sold out, man. I mean, that was that. I can say that was my first. And he was tributing that fight to fiddle his best friend mother. That was okay. my best uniform. Okay. Now you see, y'all gotta go on my page and check that out. I will check it out. Who was who was he fighting with that? I don't even remember. I think just a blur in my my memory. Man. <laughs> he was fighting. Um. Um. Uh. What's his name? Um. Jesus Salia. Okay. Hey, okay. Jesus Salia, we with the pink and put his name. Somebody, on. somebody go test that out. Let's see if he got that right. Somebody go test that out. I couldn't remember that. I, I ain't got you. That's what. That's what. The chat. The chat already on it. Yes. That's why I did that. Did they? Is it right? Yes. Chat already. Look, the chat already on it. Yes. It's the pink uniform one, right? They yes. Already on it. Yes. All right, now tell me where that fight was at. Let's see. Let's see the chat was really on it. Damn! I gave you a key word. They already dropped. I was going to say. I was going to say New York. What you got saying? Brooklyn. Nope. Nope. With that pink uniform. Florida. Brooklyn. I say bus trip, so it was close. Florida. Nope. Damn, the chat. Whoa, he going yeah, at it. Huh? Brona undercar. They saying Florida. Nope. Wasn't on Brona undercar neither. Because when he had Damn. like four. Thomas Hill said DC. Nope. Paint uniform. Let Come on, y'all. Let me get my glasses and pull that up, man. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Commercial too, boy. I pat myself on the back when I went back in the archives of this one. I said, I did that. He was just standing there laughing. And actually, they said that was Brona Undercard. Nah, because that Brona Undercard, that was his first one. And that day he had on, I remember because that uniform I gave to my uh my son. Atlanta. Nope. We weren't on that level then. This is you gotta remember, this is the early stage. That's why I'm asking these questions. I gotta go back now. Damn. I ain't got to go back. I can go right here. You ain't getting that one, man. Hold up. Damn. Oh, hold up. It was in Facebook. That's where it was at. Go back to my joint. Let me get it. I got, let me get it together right now. Was it in Arizona? Nope. No. Let's see. Oh. Coach, you might, you might, you coach. Mm -hmm. You might have to double check something, coach. I'm checking that. Cause, cause, cause. Reports, reports showing that Hayes, you say your fight was in Barclays. No, I ain't see that wasn't the fight. He had on a pink uniform, all pink, and had tank going across the chest. I still got the uniform. I got all his uniforms. I don't know, coach. Wait, I'm going to my archives too. Yo. He ain't looking good. We gotta find out. But I know it wasn't that. Oh, I, I just seen that video too. Man, I just seen that video. No, I don't think I don't think that was Jesus Sell you. That's what the problem. Nah, that's, that's the problem is because it wasn't. It's back in his beginning days before he started touching that level when he put that work in. Mondarmin. No, it wasn't no Mondarmin. Remember, I said I did a bus trip. 
Go. All right. The, I'm going to tell y'all where the fight was at. The fight was in New Jersey. Here's the video. See? You see the pink uniform in the background? You 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 can't because you got that virtual background. Okay. It's, it's like, you know, you oh, can't okay, show. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Okay, I know who he was fighting, though. Who he was fighting? Alberto Mora. There you go. I know, I know who he was fighting though. Yep. His first, his first sponsor was Shoot City. Remember yep. my, my city, your city, yeah, Shoot, Shoot City. Man, that uniform looked tight, man. I remember. Look, it had tank going across the chest. It had white fur going down the butt. It had, uh, I forgot the guy that made it, man. He was, he was, he was nice. He was nice with that work, and it had Shoe City at, at the bottom of it. That was my favorite uniform, and he had a he had on the pink, uh, um, uh, um, Pacquiao's with the uh, dad, my phone just went dead with the uh, with the um, um, for cancer um sign on there. What was your favorite? What was your favorite fit, Squeeze? Your favorite um, fit. Mine was, um. When he was uh when he fought Liam Welsh, the Michael Jackson to come out the yeah, Michael Jackson. Yeah, you yeah, you just yeah. hit me in my head. Yeah, that was every, yeah. everybody was in the chat saying Michael Jackson. That's, yeah, that's why, the best. nobody didn't know he was doing that. No. The music, the choreography, but the dancers, the smoke and the the, the yeah. smog, and, and then it all, went down. He got yeah, all, he, he came said. in there uh on business, he stood on business and yeah. he left on business. Yeah, he did. Actually, the British love us when we left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did a good. He got. He shocked all of us with that. That's my best one. Yeah, he shocked all of us with yeah, that. That's that the one, best one. Right yeah, there. that was the best one. Yeah. Okay, three, okay. two, three, quick. I it finally came out. Three, two, three, quick. I mm -hmm. got it, but she. I should have had it calm. She didn't come straight for me, but I damn sure got it. I walked it down. Okay. I walked okay. it down. Okay. It might come back uh 323 three, quick. I ain't dropping it. So so let me ask you this, Coach Calvin. Uh we got the outfit. We got the outfit. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite walkout? Because you right there with him when he coming out. What was your favorite walkout? When Calvin had the mask on. I was just that what you got a you read mines, yo. Yo, that shit was hard. Yo, I ain't yeah, no somebody came back and said that. He said, Yo, that that walkout was epic. Yo. That walk out with because nobody didn't know where I was at. And they said, Yo, where Coach Cal was at? Where Coach Cal? I had the hoodie on with the mask on. Yo, that shit Man. was hard. Tank was like, He was in the zone that night. I ain't forget that night. He was in the zone that night. He was focused. He was, he was laser focused. What's, what's, what's your favorite one, Squeeze? Um, walk out. Yeah. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. When we when when him was home down at the arena, Baltimore Merle. Yo, it, it, it went from Ooh. lighting that ass to standing room only. The concession stand employees, everybody, yo, that how yo. it was we yeah. get this man tonight, yo. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Man. yo. yeah. Yo. That Baltimore Oreo with the fur on the arms and the and the walkout was crazy. crazy. Yo, you can hear his fist hitting. Hey, yo, yeah, that's another hot uniform with the shoes glitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know what my favorite walkout is? Which one? That Roly. Roly, because listen, listen, listen. So just we sitting in the arena. First day, first day showed him when he arrived. He coming in like the president. He got the tank with the security hanging out the side of it. You know what I mean? As soon yeah. as they saw the picture on the big screen, the crowd go crazy. You know what I mean? The whole arena going crazy. Yeah. Then like you, they got the picture. I'm going to post a picture with it though. Like he coming through the tunnel, the little elevator thing, and the security standing on side of it with the tank with the GTD on the front. Mm -hmm. Then, you know what I mean? They, they showing little clips. Then it lead up to the fight. It's time to walk out. 
New York City, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they lost their mind in the arena over there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lisa Keys, yo. Yeah, you know what I mean? And it, and it was just him coming out. You see what I'm saying? What nobody walking on. You know what I mean? I, I ain't gonna lie to Chief Keith. Chief Keith, bitches love soul, so that killed it too. But when he came out in New York, it was like, oh my god, it's like, yeah, he really set the tone. You know what I mean? Classic. That was what that was a hell of a walk out there now, though. Yeah. Hey, yo, you make me real because we don't really be like we don't really be paying attention to the walkout because we've been in that zone, like, like man. I, hey, me and Shorty be tripping though. Is you nervous? Is you nervous? He <laughs> would bust out laughing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I was I, I told somebody one day, I was like, you know, tank move the needle, whatever he do. And they was like, no, no, no. Him. They, was him. Like, they was like, let me correct him. you. They was like, let me correct you. Him is the needle. So everything he do, you see what I'm saying? Like. So the walkouts are important. The, the fight fits are important. The music selection to him walking out, like all that shit is important because they're tuned into everything. You see what I'm saying? Just like the New York thing, like when he come out with Alicia Key, like that, like, you know what I mean? With the fit, you know what I mean? Like it, 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 everything is like well thought out. You know what I mean? And Let me give you a story, if, I, if you don't mind. One day Tank come running in the gym. Coach, coach, I seen it, I seen it. Yeah, what the hell you seen, Tank? I was asleep, man. I seen me with all the belts walking out. Then he was doing an interview. And he said, that said, man, boxing ain't like it used to be, man. The walkouts is supposed to be the thing. And I looked at him and said, damn, he got a good point because they were shorting everybody walkouts. You know, nobody wasn't really paying attention to the walkouts made the fight. You know what I'm saying? How jokers came mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. They came out, man, with that, with that, uh. And then watching him bringing it back, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when PVC start running his walkouts back to back, mm -hmm. and because we don't pay attention to the walkouts, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, that little joker, well, put that together, man. Hey, the, the, the word that we used last week, the narrator on the walkouts. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So when I sit back and look at it and say to myself, man, I said, shorty, man, it's mine thinking about the walkout. In the fight, yeah. But the but walk out. I give it to you like this. I give it to you like this. Even, even, even on a, the Bud versus Spence fight, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was the class. I was, I was, I was, I was with, I was with, I was with Spence. Mm -hmm. But when Bud came out to uh, he, to Lil Wayne for the yeah, press he, conference, when he came out to the press conference, mm -hmm. that sound, you know what I mean? Like I was like, oh shit, like you know what I mean? Like he really. He really on that mode. You see what I'm saying? Like that, that, that whole that presentation is everything. Yo, he walked out with the net on him, man. That that just killed him. <laughs> that know, killed you know, it. You know, Eminem don't really come out. No, nah. you don't really see Eminem. So to have Eminem, man, that shit, all that shit matter, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. They them guys, man. Jeez, you know, they them guys. But 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 you gotta also understand, like that's why, that's why people tune in that's why people love these guys because of the experience and the excitement that they bring into them the elements of entertainment not just not just in the ring but leading up to getting in the ring you see what i'm saying yeah so i mean like 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 okay just think about that fit for a second just think about that fit bud had on man called himself the big fish been selling that for years and you come up with a fisherman's net on yeah and you whoop them the way you did you know what i yeah. mean Come on, like, that, that shit, that, that's like he talking trash through the whole the whole press conference, man. I'm going fishing, and you know, it, it was hey yo, that was epic too, man. Yo, that's next level showmanship, you know what I mean? And that's where you know what I mean, like people people forget, like it's not just about what you do in the ring, it's all of the elements involved. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one, Solomon Walker. Thanks for the color in the chat. I haven't been on the page in a while. Salute to the rise. You, you may already know, but this platform is so positive. We get off work and come here for boxing chat and peace. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, Solomon. Welcome back. Smoothie that, King. That was a good one. Right back at you with another one. Hardcore boxing news. Y'all make sure y'all go over to hardcore boxing news. JBT. Because if y'all don't go over there, 
y'all doing yourself a disservice. Mm. The net was next level. Mm. <laughs> it was. Yeah, then they have it like incorporated in your whole uniform. You Smoothie right? King, right back at you. But another one, Remo, let's talk facts and JBT. Another one. If y'all don't go check them out, y'all don't know what boxing is. What's Let's get you? these people numbers up and go over to their channel and support these guys because they always supporting the rise. Yup, got to keep hey, the casual happy on all levels. Hey, Ramos, I got a challenge for you, man. I need you to watch the guys, what they win that night of the fight and how they coming out in their presentation because that's that's fashion too. Smoothie King. Right back at you with another one, 23. Him gotta come out to Ghostbusters. Listen, look, look at coach. Look at coach. Look at coach. Coach gonna run out with bye. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Just stay tuned, y'all. Yo, stay listen, tuned. Listen, listen. If that man come out to Ghostbusters, man, listen, I don't even need to see the fight. I already know what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? But if he come out the Ghostbusters, good. Gosh almighty, man. Listen, the man is cooking up something, man. Yo, the man is kitchen. cooking up something, yo. Smoothie King. <laughs> right back at you. What are not they caught me in the... That was a, I like that. You sound like the 7-Up commercial guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my... uh. That's my lemon water, uh, Coach Cabin. Okay, okay. Drinking my lemon water. Um, Daryl Hopkins, thanks for the support. Always supporting us, man. Uh, one of our top dugs on our uh, family in the chat. Mm. I can feel the energy of the ring walk through my pay per view. Mm. Yeah, but uh, he, 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 got, he, he, enjoying, he enjoying himself, man. He lit with this one. Yeah, you gotta enjoy life, man. Hey, like hey, like I said, like I say, smoothie king. Right back at you with another one, Savage Bo. That's how you know you the face of boxing when fans look forward to your walkout performance. LOL is levels. Mm. Yeah, but like like I like I'm saying, man, he showed me some stuff on his phone today, man. He was smiling, he was happy. I like that. I like that look. What's happening? You get know what I'm saying? So, so, so Ramadan is doing some peace to him, man. Definitely doing some peace to him. Okay, okay. A good man. You got me. You got me. You got me interested in this walkout, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, hey, like I said, he's he's yo. I, I'm not. I, he he don't never tell us his color scheme, so we know what he wearing. Mm -hmm. He don't tell us nothing, man. Only thing I know, man. Stay tuned because guess what? Them smiles in everybody house. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and he want to make sure he do it right. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Big Supreme, thanks for the color in the chat. Damn, how do you rank Frank Martin in terms of him list of opponents? What's the chances you train Spence and last? Where is Diedrich Davis? Well, when I look at Frank, right, he's he 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 got a great opportunity, a great opportunity. When you give people opportunities, especially a guy like Frank and Tank and Frank history of back and forth, you get what I'm saying? It's gonna be interesting. You get what I'm saying? Then he got Derek James there. Um, and how would I sit there and say, I'm not gonna let the cat out the bag how my mental is for this fight. I just know that he's going to come out game. I want to see how game he is, though. Dealing with the training with Spence, get what I'm saying? Like I said again, in, in, in the what you call it, Spence a good friend of Tanks. You get what I'm saying? Right now, and it's funny, uh, me and Dark, we, we good. So, you know, just looking across the ring, but I'm used to that type of um, challenge. You know, when you got coaches in the amateurs going against each other, like, oh, man, we know it's going to be one of them bomb burners tonight, you know, mm -hmm. so. Like I sit there and say, it's going to be a good one, yo. You know, so, hey, like I say, the smile's going to be at everybody's house, right? So, and then when you look at it, how the, how the build up, we got a good show coming up this weekend. 
Then you got Canelo coming back. Then you got GTD, better known as him now. Mm -hmm. then, be then you got this weekend. Okay. Friday and Saturday night. It's boxing is back. Man, then you got uh Charlo and uh what's his name? Where they go at. So they starting off right, man. Can't wait. Smoothie King. Right back at y'all. I'm gonna spit this one, then I'm gonna get off something, get me some rest for tomorrow. And let y'all finish okay. chopping it up. Okay. Um, Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Jason Torres. Thanks for the color in the chat. Uh salute to the rise in chat. Can't wait till him announce his next fight. Put ghost in the dirt. Smoothie King. Right back at you with another one. Ralph 707. Thanks for the color in the chat. Coach Calvin, what are three things every boxer should keep in mind? And what is the one advice that you always tell him? Stay focused and stay humble. Forget about the rest. All right, Coach Cal, be easy down there, man. Don't let him go. See you. I got one more for you. Anyway, I got one more for you. I got to get up. You can read that one. Are you Smoothie uh, It don't sound like a Smoothie King. Right back at you. That's all I'm high for. I can't do nothing else on here. Uh, before I read this, I got my Smoothie King special coming out, y'all. So I got the, I'm glad he announced this. I'm coming out with my own little jib. What's the name of it? Huh? What's the name of it? Smoothie King. Okay. Like, we're, right we're, back we're, at you. Y'all can check me part. out. I'm coming with the first episodes this week. So okay. check out the Smoothie King right back at you. We're, but another one, that way out. I could do more than just read comments. Y'all going to actually be able to hear me talk and speak what the podcast was what's, predicated on. What's this show going to be about? Uh, um, Irvin, thanks for the color in the chat. Just started by I can't give out the game plan. Come on, you know we from up there. Yeah. Uh just stuck. <laughs> hey, hey, Smoothie King, that's gonna be a good episode you come out with. My man, I got you. I got you. Right. Who gonna upload it? Huh? Don't oh, worry yeah, about that. I can't yo. get my game yeah, plan yeah, out. Yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get my game plan out. I yeah. might have to pull out the brush. Just yo, started boxing. Squeeze. squeeze, you had to take him in that laundry room, yo. You ain't hear what I, he just said? I, I heard him. He I heard hey, that's yeah, bad play. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Hate in the air. Uh, just what started boxing. The laundry room. I had, come on. Get down yo, where you get, mad at. Get down where you mad at. Yeah, ain't no laundry just room. Get down where you mad at. You get mad right here, we going to scrap right here. Yeah. Let me see y'all scrap down. right here then. Let me see y'all throw a punch. Get, see, get down, down where you mad at. I had one match. KO and my homie hating on me. <laughs> it, it tried to make it seem like a bit. <laughs> we don't want you to leave, I'm, yo. I'm digging. I don't even do all the talking. Why is their favorite trait the hate? So, so, wa, so, 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 wa. <laughs> that joke was funny as all I was doing. Oh, shit, yo. Yo, you hot right now. Smoothie there, King, man. right back at you. you. Makai Irvin, night, he gonna run these to 12, watch, just to be smart. <laughs> uh, Makai Irvin, thanks for the color in the chat. Just started boxing, I had one. Oh, I read that one, champ. Yeah. Pick a one, you read this one, then I'll see you later. All right. Uh, Smoothie King, how can you put me off the boss on the show? Damn, your head big as shit. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. They say you let him, give him an inch, they take a mile. Richie Baby, oh yeah, Uncle Calvin, I've been fasting. Oh, okay. I've mm -hmm. been fasting with you, man. I threw up on the third day, but no, it's because my body is processing. But, man, it's been rocky. I've been dreaming of chickens, Uncle Calvin. I'm trying. Good, good day. Oh, that's good. Your body going to do that, man. That's showing that you, you your body goes through that, goes through that, goes through that. 
is that change <laughs> that you're trying to make, man. But look, don't give up because when you finish doing it and you yeah. make it through it, that means you can do anything, man. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's not, everybody don't understand. It, 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 the fast is not about just giving up the food. It's yeah. actually giving up to show you that you can take time yeah. off your Lord. Yeah. To understand. And do that for him. So, Calvin, what's y'all time frame to eat and drink? Well, we don't. I don't. I you know from um dust to dawn. Huh? Dust to dawn. Dust to dawn, man. Oh, okay. Dust to dawn, man. You so know. you can't eat. You can't drink nothing in between that. Nothing, man. You gotta go hard. We've been going hard, man. I don't. I, my first week is always my hardest week, right? Yeah. Because I gotta stop using the S word. You know that's my favorite word. So I'm trying to get that under control. Um, um, that's the only thing I've been on time trying to hit my head all the time, you know. So, I, you know, because it seems like I got a clock, man. Yeah. So, that's been good, you know. But and, um, I got all my, my books here, reading a little bit of everything. Somebody post me, hit me on Instagram, say, Coach Calvin, you okay? Dang, <laughs> inshallah, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm happy, I'm at peace, you know. So and you know this little time to myself and just doing what i love doing and reflect yeah and when we go in the camp man it's quiet you know we ain't even listening to no music you know we in there just working and talking mm -hmm. dang okay okay and so so it's it's different you know it's different and then and, and we're not even talking boxing that's the part that get me we're not even talking boxing man you know not even talking <laughs> boxing. <laughs> Richie Baby said, um, I ain't signed up for this. You talking about Dust of Dawn? Hold on. I thought we couldn't eat till the sun go down. <laughs> <laughs> What's this new information? All right, y'all. Have a blush with man. Calvin, hang in there out there, coach. Man, I don't have a choice, man. Yeah, hang in there out there, man. Handle your business. We can't wait, man. Yeah, we can't neither, man. You hear what when your show dropping, senior? Huh? When your show dropping, I'll, I'll let you know. Damn. Okay. Hey, it, how you know? We, no, we this might, all we good. Might, we might have a premiere. You know what I mean? I might. Do no, something. It's all good. Inshallah. That's how. I can't give them no inch. They take them out. Inshallah. I might do an episode on you one day. <laughs> you need to. Mm -hmm. No, but. You know, I think, I think, I think that's gonna be something nice, though. You know what I mean? Like, nah, nah. what y'all doing, senior? I like y'all pushing the needle, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Especially, man, you had this conversation before. I like talking boxing, but I like to talk what's going on with with with, with the human person, mm, real life yeah. events, current events. Yeah, yeah, I like to talk about that because there's a lot of stuff that a lot of people go through, man. Like I said, I always sit there and say with the the amateurs, man, when they go in, they have to deal with stuff at home. They had to deal with stuff at school and then they had to come back in the gym and deal with the coaches and mm -hmm. then try to put on a good performance when they get a chance to actually put on a performance you yeah. saying? So that's a lot of discipline in between discipline i can't wait i can't wait till i get speedy i'm gonna do one on speedy he don't even know it yet i'm gonna do an episode that's on speed you know what yeah, i mean uh, speedy yeah people don't be like he got a story to tell too you know yes, I mean? he did. Yes, he did. I, 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 when I came to him and gave him his first test, he looked at me, man. Yo, every time I have something for him, boy, he wakes up for the challenge. You know, he, 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 real tedious. Like you know, what I mean, when he, when he get into something, he always in. Man, he always in. I watch him, man. Yeah. I give a little group to him. Speedy, take care of him. And I know that. I know they're in good hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. Please check me the other day. Cause I'll be all protected with my babies. Like we got it, man. We stick in the program because <laughs> I, I have a problem when I come back and then I hear the heads the be tells me, yo, a lot of guys be faking with it. And I said, they said, man, I'm just like my man. Um, Man, this is a brand. Right. Change nothing. I said, we can have this many different Porsches on that line. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they still what? Porsches. Build right. them the same way. Don't change nothing that we, we got in place. Cause we know it works, you know. Frank Lucas, you Frank Lucas, huh? Yeah, yeah, we know it works, man. Because I, I, man, how many I don't know how many national champions we had out there, state champions, regional champions, by the same blueprint. Don't change nothing, don't come in there with that stuff. I said, What we have in common is about the kids. That's what we have in common. Mm -hmm. You know, squeeze when he checked me that day, I wasn't even mad because I know that they're doing the right thing. I just want to make sure that they on point because that's my 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 generation, you know what I'm saying? Because right. as soon as um 
old Doug and all of them when they go through, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying they're gonna be holding us down. The little juniors, the uh, um, the oh, they like so, yeah, yeah, all them, all them, they the future. And then the funny thing about it, that's what I'm saying, yo, watching them grow up in front of your face, yeah. Scary, yo. When I just sit back and look at, I look at my phone and see all these kids that I had in my phone. I said, they say, wow, they grown there. <laughs> scary. Yeah. Scary, man. So then when I sit back and look at your son, I look at man, I look at them guys, man. I look at Showtime, man. I sit there and say, man. I look at Sean Paul. I be like, man, I can't wait till they get older. Oh, you must have seen something. What you see? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting texts on a, um, on a, on a, on a jump. I was saying, I was trying to see what it was. No, but like I was saying, like you know what I mean, like from just my time being at the gym, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I hear y'all, I hear you and Coach, Coach Kenny talking about, you know what I mean, the countless of stories of talent that y'all done lost, kids y'all done lost, you know what I mean, and and just thinking about the the, the Jasmines. You know what I mean? Um, and his story, his story is my, like mind blowing because so you know, his mom just passed away. I didn't know that his mom just passed away, uh, over the weekend. And you know what I wow. mean? And he was taking care of his little sister, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you know what I mean? So she lost, she lost, so she lost her brother who was taking care of, and now she lost her mom. You know what I mean? So now the little girl in the system. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 one 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 bad decision from somebody else affected a whole line, a whole yeah. generation. You know what I mean? Then you gotta look at the John Wicks, the Grinches. You know what I mean? All that talent. I just posted a video with him in it the other day, in Grinch. You know what I'm saying? Um, Scarecrow. I mean, not Scarecrow. The um, what's his name? Um, serial killer. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Talent. Yo, you make it, it, it makes you reflect like, yo, where we go wrong at, man. You know, and we don't, but you know what it is? I always sit there and say, it's being able to take care of them so they could be really, that's why I get mad. Like, all the boxing gyms in the, in the world, we don't get the funding that we need from the government. Yeah. We can come in and help the gyms put certain systems in place. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of gyms, man, have a lot of kids going through them, but they don't pay attention to them because of the sport, the type of sport it is. That's just that culture. The same way we have other cultures that get a lot of rights. You know what I'm saying? They should have the same rights. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it's saving them. Saving them. Hmm? You got them in the gym, saving them. If you got them in the gym, they ain't on the streets. But that's, but, but again, they don't see it like that. And that's what I try to sit there and, and say. It, you know, and, and and after I come out my situation, that's going to be my whole thing. That's how I'm going to be speaking. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, um, y'all can give money to people for dumb stuff, but y'all don't want to give money to kids, to, 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 to guys and guys that's in them gyms. Go into them gyms. It's like um, the people that work, in the, works, work down in front office and stuff. Do they really walk the streets? Do they really go into the community, see what's going on in the community, and look for the people that's really, 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 really working inside of the no, community? No, no, no. So that's that's going to be my pet peeve. You know, y- y- y'all want to sit there and say y'all doing your jobs and y'all got them lecturers, um, uh, um, pays and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? If I had it my way, the work you put in, that's what you make. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, my, my new saying is, man, you get paid what you weigh. Yeah. You with me? Mm-hmm. The work you put in, man, that's what you should get paid, you know? I got a little program that I'm working on, right, where we can try to help each other, especially the guys that's coming home that's trying to change their life around and help the guys that's out there that need help. Man, it's a bunch of youngest man. They want to do right, but they don't. They, they ain't got nobody to talk to. When I was in, man, I would sit there and ask them questions, and then I would sit there and say, but did you ever try to write it down and try to follow a map? It's not that hard. Mm-hmm. Nobody never sit there and talk to me like that. And that's what you're missing. That's all they want is some to be heard and some understanding, but they want to feel comfortable talking to the people that they talking to. That's it. No, I get it, but they need to talk to somebody. And my 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 whole my whole pitch is to them: find somebody that you look up to, because that's what normally happens. It normally happens when each one of us sees something. I put, I made a post right, 
and, and they taught us about the zero. But if you have a one, you put a zero around it, that's ten dollars. You put another zero behind it, that's a hundred dollars. You get what I'm saying? You got to start from nothing. I was reading the scripture, and um, this is this say before it was darkness. So what I meant by darkness, we was in darkness first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then when light came, he got to see, we get to see everything, especially when I meant they put they put the light on it, on the situation, on the problems. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then after they put the light on and see the problems and let them see what's going on, then it's what? It's good because now we see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, so again, man, it's just somebody gotta wake up. So I'm just hoping that my my Lord got a a, a, a mission for me, you know, and it's like you said, it's bigger than box. Listen, they don't understand, man. Like, you know, what I mean, when they come back to that, it's bigger than boxing, it's man. bigger than boxing. And then, you, and you know, when I sit back and reflect, right, I sit there and say, when I get when I got knocked off just there, I walked in the gym and say, yo, this is where we at. Hmm. No, honestly, I sit there and ask myself, this is where we at. This is the is this is the top of the pinnacle. Then when that happened to me, Tank called me and said, yo, you see how fast things can change overnight. You know what I'm saying, but then I sit there and look at it. I'm sitting right in, 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 in and I'm looking at the midst of stuff and I'm seeing what's going on. I said, Man, only person gonna save these youth is us. That's it. I mean, we gotta grab them by their head. You ain't doing that. I remember my man Bodie, man. Bodie caught his nephew, and he kept telling him to stay off the corner. He whooped him. That's how I got my first moped. He whooped him. <laughs> he whooped them just to keep him off the corners. Hmm. Cause he had potentials. Mm -hmm. Um, and I seen Mel, Mel Stanford, man. <laughs> he sit there and told me, say, I told you something special about you. You know. And I talked to my mentor, Warren, Warren Boyley. He comes sit down and say, Young man, <laughs> you got a rock on your shoulder that you carrying there. You got to be careful. You know. Mm. I sit back and go to my elders, my uncle, Chris Burroughs. I go back and sit back and talk to him, you know, because we need guidance. Because sometimes we get caught up in the dunya. Mm -hmm. We get caught up, man. But with the woo woo, I asked a little kid, he said, I want to open up a trucking company. I said, What's the most money you ever had? He said, I had 20 grand. That was your trucking company. Right. <laughs> but guess what he did with the money? Woo woo woo. Mm -hmm. Do that shit in the air, pretty much. Yeah, man. You know, because we've been taught. Um, man, Kenny was sitting down. He said, Yo, if you get up every day and nobody going to work, what you going to do? Mm. Until somebody introduce you to something, or how to get money and what they introduce you to, that's what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. But if somebody introduce you to something else and you see it's going to take care of you, guess what you're going to do? You're going to do that. You want to switch up. Yeah. Hey, it's just simple. It's bigger than boxing, y'all. Mm. Bigger than boxing. Man. It's coming. Trust me, it's coming. You know, we got a lot of people, every man, they working hard, they working diligent, right? You know, and I try to sit there and say, man, my style of training, I ain't teaching them how to fight. I'm teaching them how to fight against life. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? You're going to have to have your equipment when you go to work. If you ain't got your equipment, the man will send you home. You don't get there on time, the man going to send you home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You don't study for that position. You ain't going to get that position. That's my style of fight. Hmm. Bigger than box. <laughs> Bigger than boxing, man. <laughs> man. You, like have, you having shortcuts. That next man ain't shortcutting. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He trying to take your throne. He want to sit in your chair. Mm -mm. Just trying to bring light, just trying to bring light to it. Just bring it's bigger than boxing in real in real life and just really oh, show you're people. Gonna you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're A lot gonna... of people understand, man. Like just from my time, it's bigger than boxing, man. I said all the time, but I seen it, you know. I seen it, and I said, you know. They so, trying to find their way, man. We see so many young youth, and and, and to tell you the truth, it's a period. When they stay in them gyms, it's saving their life. Mm -hmm. When they come in there and chase that dream, chase that goal, it's man, it hurts every day going in that gym and training and getting hit upside your face, getting hit in the body. 
working the body. It hurts, but they still come back. That's that culture. That's that determination. When you got a person like that, man, that person can do anything. You just got to train the mind to do it. Mm-hmm. Once you get once you get the mind to buy in, hmm. you ain't you ain't you ain't training no more. You're doing what you love now. Yeah. Steve said that asked me, he said, Yo, how do you get um Sean Porter to work for you? I sit down and talk to him. Hmm. I sit down and talk to him, and I don't treat him like a little boy. I treat him like a young man. You know what I'm saying? I said, if you don't come in here and practice and think what you want to do, you ain't going to go nowhere in life. I tell him, I give him the real truth. And you see how everybody looking at him there? Mm -hmm. Listen, the day, the, day, the day you pulled Junior up, you pulled Junior up and y'all had a conversation. We, we ride home. I said, what, what, what y'all talking about? He said, Dad, that was between me and my coach, Dad. I can't really tell you. I said, hey, you're absolutely right, son. You know what I mean? You, you you understand and you feel comfortable enough? I'm fine with that. Let's get it. You know what I mean? You know who else that, that, that gets gets me, man? Twin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twin? A real man. <laughs> I remember one time he said, yo, I left that gym to come here just to be with you. I said, Twin, I'm going through something right now. I can't help you if I ain't got myself right. But when I get myself right, I got you. When I got my stuff right, I was running. And he was like this every day, like, yo. And we started seeing it. Mm -hmm. I tell Twin, I said, Twin, I'm going to tell you, at the pace you're going, you better slow down because God's going to slow you down. Man, well, he was calling me all the time in the joint. I said, you're going through them lessons, ain't you? He said, man, every time you used to tell me this stuff, I'm standing in here, you know. But now, man, when he come out, man, we don't. I don't, I don't look at him as a little boy. I look at him as a young man. A man, because we communicate. We communicate. And I got on him about something like, man, y'all job. Y'all want to try to get on a big card or somebody doing. Y'all have to be ready anytime and every time. Because when that phone call come, how can I how can I put you on? Mm -hmm. No, that's real talk. I say boxing is changing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody giving you nothing anymore. You got to be ready for when the gift come, you you can get the gift. Hmm. You know, so I, I, you know, I said, Tank, one thing about Tank, man, the Tank stayed in the gym. He was the first one in, last one to leave. He just, he just made a post the other day, you know, his posts don't stay up long, but he was like, he, he was like, look, um, y'all see that picture? Pay attention. He was like, it was just me, my two coaches. And every time we went on a road trip, we played it. It was a Jay-Z song. Kanye and Jay Z did a song. He was like, you know what I mean? Look who, look, pay attention who, who was who was there. You know what I mean? So that's real talk, man. He, with yo, man, he, 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 we be hitting each other. You know how somebody, like sometimes you know you think of the person that is, is gone. You got to hit on their chest. Mm -hmm. they come back. That's how we, this camp been like that. Man. It's been it's been touching mentally. We ain't even talking boxing. It ain't been about boxing. It's been about the mental. It's been about the the, 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 the the survival. It's been about the work we put in. We are here for a reason. It ain't about the fight no more. What, what changes that we can make, like the Ali's and the other fighters that came that made a difference for the sports? So let me ask you this, Coach. When we did that interview in the office, he was looking for something. In life, he was looking for something. They always looking for something at that he, age. And, and, he, and he said something he wanted to do, but he, he did it, but he did it in a different a different direction. When he took his shahada, first because he was talking about getting baptized. And then 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 yeah. with 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 that. Did he find what he was looking for? The day when we was talking, I said, take him back. Sometimes you can look at your leader and see your leader going this way. Because mm -hmm. the order, they had to reel me back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
And when he looked at me, and the way we talked, I could see it in his eyes, like, Man, my coach is back. <laughs> you understand that drive that got us there. You got to remember, I did 10 years. I came home to nothing. To nothing. Everything I had, anything I went through, I compressed it. And I came home, and as you start grinding, you start seeing your goals. It's like you, you think you made it. And that day when I walked in the gym, all day I stayed in the gym, didn't go nowhere. And I kept asking myself, I'm looking at the gym, is this it? I kept saying that. So the little high I had when um, um, Kobe came in the gym to spa, you know what I'm saying? And he was looking good, he was listening. And he said to me, he said, man, coach, man, thank you. It's going to go out. Because, you know, usually I don't go out with them guys. You know what I'm saying? But I said, Kobe, I'm going to go with you because I see you can change your life. And then my little man came to him and said, coach, I'm going to be in the gym every day now. Be quiet. I ain't going to be in the gym every day. He said, yes, I am. He said, I quit football. I said, yeah, I see. And as I'm walking out the door, he said, man, I love you, coach. Then Kenny stopped me. He said, yo, you know the police been watching your car all day? I said, they're my personal bodyguards, man. They out there all the time. <laughs> and that quick, I get locked up. Now, don't get me wrong. They didn't treat me bad. Baltimore City Police treated me. One dude thought I was a CI for a minute. Because <laughs> 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 he couldn't figure out. Like, they was, Mr. Boy, sit right here. You all right? We got to get them in. Woo, 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 woo. So, so, so. Going through the past and saying that the work that I have did in the city didn't go in vain. You know what I'm saying? Because I was treated mm -hmm. a certain way. Even when I went in, man, it was dudes I didn't even know. Yo, they got our coach in here. They're trying to take our coach from us. And I was like, man, you know? <laughs> and, but they couldn't tell me what I was being process, I mean, um, processed for. Mm -hmm. and I was racing my head, racing. Like, Gee, I'm trying to figure it out. I said, man, I'm the thing I do in Nevada, Vegas. It's work. Train. See what? Look, 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 what I'm at. Mm -hmm. Then, as I got in the units, man, and you know, it was crazy. And I started seeing things. You know, jail ain't like it used to be. Hmm. Them youngins need help, man. And every morning when I got up, someone would get up and work out with me. Someone would sit around the table with us. And we talked about Islam. We talked about what's going on in the streets. And I looked at a lot of them, and I'm looking at the old heads that's sitting around. We got a bunch of old heads sitting around with the young and standing up. And I'm looking around like, this is what they missing. And I sit there and told them, I said, they said, yo, if you got an old head, that old head knows something that you don't know because he's still here. Listen to what I'm saying. He's still here. I seen my man Rudy. Rudy got a podcast. Trying to convince Warren to start talking. Now, if I can get Warren to start talking, all them dudes that made it through and they still here need to start talking. Mm -hmm. Start educating our youngins, man. That's what makes me different because I'm one of the, I'm their youngin that made it through. My uncle sit there, Chris, he told me, he sit there, said, yo, your philosophy, you, your philosophy from the street save you for where you at now now you got to start thinking on a different level now mm -hmm. what you're about to go into is serious it's serious boxing is different man it's a business yeah it's a business and on that level it's about big business big business yeah it's about business at the end of the day Ain't about the gloves, ain't about the punching. It's about the business. Mm -hmm. So them guys that names that get mentioned, y'all have to be like the Ali. Mike was vicious. That was he was known for, but they love him. He gave them hope for being vicious. Lord, he money Mayweather. I say, my young and him, what's gonna be your legacy? That's what I'm preaching. What you gonna do different for society? Because mm. a lot of kids looking at you. 
And one thing I see from this whole ordeal, they need some guidance because none of them don't know about the Almighty. They come in many forms, many names. He the creator of all. And if they have some guidance, we'll be okay. Yeah. On that note, <laughs> bigger than boxing, baby. Bigger than boxing. Co appreciate you for jumping on, I'm man. My head, man, because I got you. Because you get me all emotional, man. No, oh, I mean, like, yeah. I, I, something. Hey, what you, what you, what you said in the earlier show? You want to talk about real life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about real life, coach. Yeah, yeah that's know, what it's man. all about. That's what the, that's what the podcast is really all about, man. It's for a, a, a fighter to express himself so the world can really know how he feel. Because sometimes the narrator don't get it put out the way. Like when, when Tank, I mean, when him got in trouble, hmm. he kept saying, man, I ain't hit her. I ain't hit her. <laughs> and when that came out, it showed that he didn't hit her. Because I know we taught him better than that. Man, listen, listen. Smoothie King, right back at you. Fight game. Man, appreciate the support. Man, I got a real love for Coach Calvin. Never want to hear him being announced without that whistle. <laughs> That's my trade card. Let me tell you what that whistle is, y'all. It's the call. It's like the thorn. It's the call when Tank fight. It's the call when all my little youngins get in that ring. It's the it's it's the trumpet. I already say, uh, 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 Mr. Stacy. Mr. Stacy was on here and he said, I I I can I can make a sound. And spark something in my fighters. That's the same thing that whistle do. That's what I immediately thought about that whistle because you it hear it, you hear it when it's time when it, when it, when it's war time you hear that whistle. My man Stacy, boy, I'm a student of Stacy. He said that. Say, that's what you hear when he said, "Cal, when are you coming down? Now I'm gonna give you the keys to the gym." <laughs> because I understand when you got your elders that been where you never been at. Mm -hmm. Sit down and listen. When somebody's screaming and hollering at you, they want you to what? Listen. Yeah. When y'all see me making posts, man, you got to look. Don't look at the post. Listen to what the message that's coming from out the post. I'll see you later, senior. Appreciate you, night. Coach, man. Have a good night. Thanks for the show. Thanks for rocking on. You know what I mean? Rocking with us tonight, man. Hey, Coach, I can't wait till we do your episode. It's coming. It's bigger than boxing. It's bigger than boxing, man. It's bigger than boxing. Man. I, get, on that note, man. I, get, I get so emotional, man, because there's so much in me. That's the passion, so much, man. That's the passion, yeah. coach. You know what I mean? You came a long way, and you deserve everything that you're getting thus far. Thank and you. more. And more because, you know what I mean? The only thing I want is to be able to take my youngest and sit them down and, 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 and give them what we didn't have when we was coming up. Okay. That's, that's my whole goal. I want to take a, a, a prison situation and turn it into a university. You know what I'm saying? Where mm -hmm. we can show that we can change their life if we put the right people around us. So everybody think I'm talking about jail. You can be in a jail situation, still gain knowledge of yourself. Right. I'm by myself right now, but guess what? I'm feeling good. I'm happy. I'm at peace. No distractions. Focus on what I got to be focused on. When you look at these kids, you got to think about dogs. When you mm. deal with people, when you dealing with people, like they they smell fear. They 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 know when you're not genuine. That's you know what I mean? And they know when you're not formed. You know what I mean? Just like just like a dog. So you know what I mean? Like when you come try to kick some bullshit, they've been dealing with bullshit their whole life. You so you coming in, you know what I mean, with an ulterior motive ain't gonna work. But if you come in genuine, you know what I mean, and you can relate and you listen without judgment, you got that kid for life. Hey, tell hardcore to pull up, pull up some of them kids that did interviews. Listen to the interview, but the most important, the question that's been given to them to answer the question. It's gonna touch you, man. That day Kenny made me listen to every last one of them, man. And it made me sit there and say, yo, they truly are listening. Now I just gotta put the right people around them to take them further, to open up their 
Mm-hmm. Bigger than boxing. They ain't about the boxing. I just, I got I got to show them the 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 in the in the words of Marvin McDowell. That's what this come from. Books before hooks. Boxing is the web to teach them more. Mm-hmm. You understand about life because our kids will be just like extinct. You know what I'm saying if we don't we don't pull them in. We don't pull them in. They they won't be able to survive out here. I'm gone, man. All right, coach. Because you you want one at night, coach. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let you get out of here, coach. Because you get like Brandy. Brandy like sitting down picking my brain. I gotta stay away from it. I run. You see how you start, she was like, I got the camera. No, uh-uh, I got. It. She scares me because she she. How would I sit there say? She asked me serious questions. She knows what questions to ask. Yeah, yeah. and I would say, Brandy, why are you trying to get in my head? She said, because you got a lot of stuff going on with mm-hmm. you. you know what I'm saying, I said, I do. You know, no one, no one has had the battle. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I go, I do go talk to people. If you hear me, I go talk to people when I need to be talked to, so they can help me with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, because sometimes you got to let it out or write it down yeah. to let it go. Remember, I told you the whole time when I went in, I compressed a lot of stuff. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm working on with my therapist, decompressing. Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to deal with relationships. You got to deal with the kids. You got to deal with the job. You got to deal with people out. You got so much stuff that you got to deal with. Do you have time for yourself? That's That's what I'm working on now. You're going to be all right, bro, because you're doing a great job. Look at you. <laughs> you're going to look back 10 years from now, you're going to start laughing at me. <laughs> you said that dang old cow. Yeah. <laughs> Peace, man. All right. Appreciate everybody in the Super Chat Cash app and the super, and the super Thanks, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. Another dope show, man. Oh, man. It's bigger than boxing. Some say you forgive, but don't forget it. Now you know how we do. Lock that back door, don't let no one through. I told me she in these streets ain't no loose. He say, cuz all oh, this life we ain't put on with this. Yeah. And I understand that this shit wasn't easy, but nigga, we did it. Yeah, yeah. And all them hoes and all them niggas that wasn't fucking with us, then we them niggas. And now we rich now. We got money. I don't give a shit, no. And we did it Young nigga come off for nothing Now he gets into them ridges And it's the life of a young rich nigga